Hey guys, I have a new hat tutorial for a newborn baby. Uh, this is this is for size newborn to three months old baby, and this is how the pattern look like. It's more airy and more comfortable for the baby. And this has the measurement of um, six inches long, and it has the circumference of. 14 unstretched to 16 if it is stretch. So, okay, I am going to use a size J 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, a scissor, and a baby sports weight yarn by Bernat. This is the yarn that I'm going to use, it's a number three baby sports weight. Okay. This color is a baby pink and okay if you are ready we are going to start the project. To begin we are going to make a magic ring. And into the magic ring we are going to make 16 double crochet. Size G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. 16 double crochet. 16 double crochet into the ring 1 2 3 this is counted as first double 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now we are going to close the ring. To close the ring, we are going to pull the inside strand. This is the outer strand and this is the inside strand here. Okay, we are going to pull that left from left to right halfway. Pull it halfway. And then pull the tail. Pull it nice and tight. Now the ring is secured. And if you want, you can crochet the tail along as you go. Or you can just leave it there and wave it later. But I am going to crochet it. Now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3. This is the beginning chain 3. We are going to join it with slip stitch there. And into the same stitch as joining, we are going to make 2 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. This is the first double. One more. Into the same stitch. 2. Now I have 2 double crochet. And into the each stitches around we are going to make two double crochet in each okay make two double crochet in each stitches around and when you finish you should have the total of um, 32 double crochet go ahead and continue your round finish your round and i will meet you for the next round Okay, I finished my round and I have the total of 32 double crochet around. Now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3. And make a chain 3. And into the next double crochet, we are going to make a small V stitch which is double chain 1 and double. 1 double chain one and one double crochet now we are going to skip the next two double crochet and into the next double crochet we are going to make a small v stitch one double chain one and one double into the same stitch And then V stitch again into the next double crochet. Ok, 
Okay, this is how it looks like, guys. Okay. And we are going to skip the next two double crochet. And into the next double, we are going to make a V stitch. One double, chain one. One double. And V stitch into the next double crochet. One double, chain one. One double. Now I skip the next two double crochet again. And then make v stitch in each of the next two double skip the next two stitches and then v stitch in each of the next two stitches Skip the next two stitches again. We stitch in each of the next two stitches. Skip the next two. Skip the next two, be stitch in each of the next two stitches. Okay, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We have fifteen V stitch already, including the beginning V stitch now we are going to skip the the last two stitches and into the bottom of the um the beginning chain three we are going to complete the beginning v stitch okay we are going to make one double crochet into the same stitch as the beginning chain three and then make a chain one and slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3 okay guys now we completed the last V stitch which is into the beginning um, the beginning of the round and we have the total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 we have the total of 16 V stitch around okay this is how this is how it looks like if you're confused you can see the pattern here and then you can just follow it okay okay guys for the next round we are going to do the increasing so make a chain three and make one v stitch into the next double And we're going to skip the next two double crochet and into the next two double crochet make one V stitch in each and now we are going to skip the next double and into the space between these two double crochet we are going to make one double crochet in between this is how it looks like and then we are going to skip the next double and in each of the next two double crochet we are going to make one B stitch Can you see it guys? I hope you can follow. Now we are going to skip the next two double crochet 
and make one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. And we are going to make one double crochet in between of the next two double crochet again. Skip the next double, one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Then skip the next two double crochet, one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Now we are going to make one double crochet in between the next two double. Skip the next double, one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Skip the next two double crochet. One V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Now we are going to skip the next two double the next double we are going to skip the next double and make one double crochet in between and to complete the beginning this stitch we are going to make one double crochet into the same stitch as the beginning chain three one double crochet And then make a chain one and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three okay guys now this is how it looks like now that i can see clearly we are going to count one two three four five six seven eight we have eight groups of these stitches and we have one two three four we have four single double crochet around okay guys now you can see it clearly for the next round we are going to make a chain three again one two three and then V stitch into the next double and we're going to skip the next two double and in each of the next two double make one V stitch in each and into the next double crochet okay we're going to skip the next double into the next double we're going to make two double crochet one two and we're going to skip the next double and make one v stitch in each of the next two double
now we skip the next two double crochet and one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet now skip the next double and make two double crochet into the next double skip the next double make one v stitch in each of the next two double crochet Skip the next two double, one V stitch in each of the next two double. Now skip the next double make two double crochet into the next double crochet skip the next double one v stitch in each of the next two double Skip the next two double crochet, one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Skip the next double, two double crochet into the next double. Now we are going to form the beginning V stitch. So make one double crochet into the same stitch as the beginning chain 3. Chain 1 and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3. Okay guys. Now it is starting to form. So this is how the pattern look like okay we have two double crochet on top of the um the increasing double and two four six eight we have eight groups of v stitches and four groups of two double crochet okay now for the next round we are going to make a chain three again and we stitch into the next double skip the next two double one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet skip the next double and then one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet Skip the next double, one V stitch in each of the next two double crochet. Skip the next two double crochet and then one V stitch in each of the next two double. Skip the next double crochet and make v one V stitch in each of the next two double. Skip the 
skip the next double one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next two double crochet one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next double crochet one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next double one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next two double one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next double crochet one v stitch in each of the next two double now before we join we are going to skip the last double crochet and into the same stitch as chain three we are going to make one double crochet there to complete the v stitch chain one and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three okay now we only have the group of v stitches All right guys so we have two four six eight ten twelve we have twelve group of v stitches and for the next round we are going to make a chain three and v stitch into the next double now skip the next two double crochet one v stitch in each of the next two skip the next two double and one v stitch in each of the next two double okay guys repeat this around by skipping the next this the next two double and then one v stitch in each of the next two double skip next two double one v stitch in each of the next two double go ahead and repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining i complete my round and before i join it i make one double crochet into the same stitch as the beginning chain three and then chain one and then join into the top of the beginning chain three that is how i complete the last b stitch okay for the next round we are going to repeat this last round five more times and don't forget to begin your each round with chain three and then finishing it with one double into the same stitch as the beginning chain three and chain one and join go ahead and finish your five more rounds and i will meet you for the next round I finished my five more rounds and I have six inches I have six inches from crown to bottom okay now we are going to start for the brim make a chain one single crochet into the same stitch as joining single crochet into the next double single crochet into the next space 
single crochet into the next double single crochet into the next double single crochet into the next space single crochet into the next double go ahead and continue your round we'll, yeah go ahead and finish your round with single crochet in each stitches and and each spaces around Go ahead guys finish your single crochet in each stitches and and each spaces around okay now join it with slip stitch into the beginning single sorry about the noise guys they are repairing the building and then you can lock your work here and then cut your yarn and don't forget to wave the tail of your work later on before you put it into wash or before you give it as a gift okay now this is how the hat look like okay we finish another project guys for the adult version i will be making a um that will be for my next video the same the same the same pattern for the adult size and yeah i will be make for the next for my next video i will be making the adult size for this pattern okay guys this is for the um newborn to three months old baby and okay we finished another project guys thank you for joining me and yeah if you want you can add some embellishment like a flower a crocheted flower or it's up to you whatever you think. like this is okay already it look it look comfortable and and airy for the baby it's not too hot for the baby's head okay guys thank you for joining me and i hope you like it i hope you enjoy making it and if you have any more question about the stitches just leave a comment and i will try to respond as soon as i can and 
yeah thank you for joining me and see you again for the next video thank you bye bye